Hello and welcome. As we all know, ESI, Employees State Insurance, is a social security benefit to employees. It is like health insurance or it's even better because even disablement is covered here. It is basically a scheme providing medical care to not just the employees but also their family members. It is applicable to organizations having 10 or more employees where salary of employees is up to 21k per month. So if your salary is more than 21k then you are not going to be covered under this scheme. But for those who are covered both employees as well as the employer are required to contribute to this ESIC scheme. While the contributions of employees is limited to 0.75% of the salary, the employers are required to contribute at 3.25%. In today's video, we are not going to talk about the provisions or benefits of this ESIC scheme. Instead, if you are an employer who is covered under this scheme, we are going to focus on how to account these ESIC related transactions using Tally Prime. First, we are going to see how to create vouchers for both employees deductions and employers contributions. After that, we are going to see how to generate monthly contribution file which is required to be uploaded on the ESIC portal. But before that, for better comprehension, let's consider a scenario. Let's say you are the employer covered under ESIC scheme and let's assume you have hired an employee for a salary of 20k per month. Let's first see the breakup of this. Basic salary 10k, HRA 5k, special allowance 5k. Total of this that is 20k is gross salary per month. Unlike PF where basic and DA are considered for the purpose of computation of PF, for ESIC it is the gross salary which is considered for computation. And if any overtime wages are paid, even that would form part of this gross salary. So here gross salary 20k would be considered for computation. On this, you are required to deduct 0.75% from the salary of the employee that is 150 rupees here. And as an employer, you are required to contribute 3.25% that is 650 rupees. So total contribution for the month would be 800 rupees and this contribution has to be paid by 15th of the subsequent month. So considering the same example, let's see how we can account ESIC related transactions in Tally Prime, starting with employees deductions. From gateway of Tally, click vouchers other vouchers, payroll, click on date and enter voucher date. Here the payroll is being processed for the month of June. So I have selected end of June. Enter payroll voucher number, click autofill, payroll autofill. In the field process for select salary, compute income tax based on declared value. Enter from and to date, select employee or group, sorting method and select the payroll ledger. Here it is salary payable. Once you do that, the payroll voucher would be automatically filled. If you would like to know how to create employees and pay heads, you may consider watching the playlist payroll processing in which I have explained this process in detail. As part of the topic of this video, let's see how this ESI account is configured. Press Ctrl Enter. Pay head type is Employees Statutory Deductions. Statutory pay type Employees State Insurance. This is grouped under Current Liabilities. Affect net salary is set to Yes. Enter the name to be displayed on payslip. Then in the field Compute, select on specified formula. And formula here would be basic plus HRA plus special allowance. If any overtime wages are paid, then you need to include even that head. Enter effective date. In the percentage value, enter 0.75. Let's accept this ledger and go back to the voucher creation screen. 
let's accept the voucher next employers contributions from the same voucher creation screen click autofill payroll autofill select esi contribution in the field process for enter from to select employee or group select sorting method and payroll ledger here would be esi payable once you select that the voucher would be automatically filled let's see how this esi account is configured payhead type here is employers statutory contributions and pay type is employee state insurance this is grouped under indirect expenses affect net salary is set to no in the compute field select on specified formula and specified formula is going to remain the same enter effective date and percentage value which is 3.25 let's accept this ledger to go back to the voucher creation screen let's now see how is this account esi payable is configured this is very simple you just need to group this under any liabilities account here this is grouped under current liabilities let's accept this ledger let's accept the voucher let's now view the summary of the vouchers that we have just created from gatepay of tally click display more reports statutory reports summary this would display the summary of the vouchers we have just created let's now see how to generate monthly contribution file again from gateway of tally click display more reports statutory reports payroll reports employee state insurance select e return here you need to select the period select name of the employee or the group file format would be excel enter the path of the folder if you would like to make any changes click configure to generate this monthly contribution file click export and this is the monthly contribution file in excel format generated by tally you need to upload this file on the esic portal generate chalan and make payment this is all i have for you today hope the video was informative thank you for watching